Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Talent Talks brought to you by the good folks at Saba Software. The only series that's dedicated to making your managers of people better coaches. I'm Chris Dunn, CHRO at Kinetics based out of Atlanta. We do work nationally. Today's topic is a great one. How do I get a coaching conversation started with a member of my team? So if you're like me, and if you're like our managers at Kinetics, there's opportunities to coach every day. So if you're doing what you should be doing as a manager of people, you're coaching someone, if not on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. The big weakness that most managers of people have when it comes to coaching is that they're too prescriptive, meaning that they identify what needs to be fixed and then they tell the person what they need to do to fix it. Now, I know what a lot of you are saying. That sounds like coaching, Chris. Let me give you an example of being too prescriptive with coaching versus what we would recommend for you. I've got an employee named John and I give him the following coaching exchange. John, I noticed that you interrupted Carol in marketing again. You've done it a bunch and what I need you to do is stop interrupting Carol because it's frustrating her and we really need marketing to be on her side. So whatever you gotta do, just stop doing it. Now that's a very prescriptive way to coach, which not only identifies what I wanna to talk to him about, but I also told him, I give you a simple version of that, I also told him exactly what I wanted him to do. A better way to coach, and what we're suggesting to you today, is you always intro any coaching conversation by merely making an observation and then letting silence do the work for you so that employee is, is forced to engage with you. So the alternative would sound something like this. John, I noticed you interrupted Carol in marketing. <sighs> Okay, see what I did there? I made the observation and I stopped talking. What we're trying to do is force John to react to the observation that I made as an intro into a modern coaching tool for any manager of people. So what happens is behavioral science shows that you're much more likely to get the behavioral change that you seek from John if you simply make the observation and then have him react to it and actually participate. Now, I know what a lot of you are saying, Chris, I get it, I want him to react, but that doesn't really meet all of my coaching needs. So what I wanna do is give you a brief introduction to the coaching tool that we use at Kinetics. It's one I've picked up throughout the years. I think it's a great tool. And that tool goes a little something like this. Step number one is you're gonna make your observation. That's what we just covered. Step number two is you're gonna stop talking and let, in this case, John reply. Doesn't really matter what John says because the rest of the coaching tool will put you in control and give you what you need. So after John replies, whatever he says, step number three is reminding the employee, in this case, John, of the goals in question. So in this case, I would say something like, well, John, you know, one of our goals is we've got to have a positive working relationship with marketing and Carol's getting frustrated with you. So in order for us to have that positive working relationship, we're gonna need you to stop interrupting her. That's it for step number three. Step number four, you like automatically go into, and step number four is brainstorming with the employee about what they can do differently the next time they encounter that situation. So in step number four, I would say something along the lines of, so John, with that goal in mind, what can you do differently the next time Carol is really frustrating you in a meeting. What can you do, do differently not to interrupt her? And he's gonna brainstorm. You may have to lead him a little bit. You may have to have a conversation, but at some point you're gonna come up with some type of resolution on what he's gonna do moving forward when he faces his frustrations with Carol in these staff meetings where it's obvious that Carol is waxing poetic about nothing. He can't just help himself, but you're gonna come up with some solution in step number four. Step number five, is where you kind of summarize what you think you're agreeing to. So I would say something along the lines of, all right, so John, like based on that brainstorming, what I understand is the next time Carol's frustrating you, you're going to write down on your notepad what you wanna to say to Carol, and you're gonna write down under what you wanna say the words wait. Okay, that's your resolution. Is that, is that what I understand? That's what you're gonna do. We've got a staff meeting next week. That's what you're gonna do next week. John hopefully answers in the affirmative, says, yeah, you got it, Chris. I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. And then step number six is you wanna end up beat. 
in the coaching tool. You want to say, John, you're a great employee in a lot of different areas. I get it. There are frustrating people in all of our lives, but you do such great work. I know you can do this for us and help us meet our goals as a department and also make sure that you don't get hurt as an individual professional. So what I just walked you through was we, we talked about the difference between prescriptive coaching where you tell an employee what you saw and what they should do to fix it versus one where you lead them through the process. That's what the six step coaching tool is. And it's a best practice because if you do that, we really believe at Saba and at Kinetics, you're gonna get the behavioral change that you seek. And just as importantly, the coach in you is gonna come out and the employee is gonna see that they're gonna think you're a progressive manager rather than somebody that's just kind of telling them what to do all the time. That's it for this episode of Talent Talks brought to you by Saba Software. If you like what you've heard, make sure you like this video. If you really liked what you heard, not only like it, but subscribe so you can get automatic notifications anytime a new episode of Talent Talks is available. I'm Chris Dunn for Saba Software. We're out.